Yo, what's up, guys? Today we're going to be doing another deck profile. We're going to be doing my... Oh, wait. Your Dangers. Um, It's going to change eventually, but as of right now, it is Pure Dangers. I'm going to be uh, going over the card by card. Probably not in depth, just like the ratios I go with and like what you need. Um, There isn't an extra deck, it's just straight dangerous. But yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so we're going to start with the monsters of the deck. Uh, to start, we have three. Danger Bigfoot. I'm rocking the alt art from uh, Maximum Gold. I think it's uh, a nice uh, nice change of pace from the uh, original artwork. Then we have three Danger Thunderbird. Um, it's like your uh, other go-to monster uh, in terms of like damage. Uh, next is three Choop. Uh, another really good... Uh, Danger to have in the deck at three. You have two Dogman. Um, it's an okay danger. It's not the best danger, but uh, in terms of pure dangers, you kind of need multiple um, of this. We have three Moth, oh, three Mothman. Uh, another good uh, danger to uh, reveal to your opponent uh, if you didn't get, if you don't understand what dangers are. Dangers are uh, an archetype that is you reveal them from your hand. You uh, get the card randomly selected from your hand, uh, and if it hits it, it has an effect when it goes to graveyard, or um, if it's not hit, it also has an effect. We're running one Suchinoko and one Jackalope, because they're both limited right now on the ban list. Uh, just an overall like good uh, danger. They are limited for a reason. We have three Ogopogo. Um, this one is your best defensive option, um, like in terms of the dangers. It has the highest defense at th at three thousand, uh, whereas uh, Danger Bigfoot has the highest attack. We have one Nessie. Uh, I would like more of those. Still waiting them on on waiting on them in the mail. When they do come in the mail, I'm probably gonna be cutting one Ogopogo and one Choop, um, or I'll cut both the Dogmen and then one. Kaiju. Uh, I think it's Radian. Yeah. Radian, the multidimensional Kaiju. Uh, just a way to get rid of your opponent's monster. I think it's a good card to have. Um, in terms of casual play, I think it's one of the better options. Um, I like to build my decks mainly around casual play rather than competitive play. I think it's like a fun little side hobby I like to do is build, like, physical decks that I could play casually with friends and stuff like that. But that is it for the monsters. Um, obviously, if you were to build another type of danger deck, whether it be, like, Danger, Dark World, or something like that, you would obviously cut down heavily. The only dangers you probably have in your deck is, like, three Bigfoot, uh, the one of each of the, the Limiteds, Maybe two Nessie and uh, I think Chupacabra probably would be the ones that you keep in your deck. But yeah, we have one Terraforming, which is just a fourth copy of Realm of Danger. Uh, I'm running Realm of Danger over the other um, field spell. I think it's a better field spell in general. We have three Danger Response Team. This one is actually really fun. Um, it allows you to... Uh, Essentially, recycle, I believe. Uh, yeah, target one danger monster you control. Uh, add one monster on the field, or and one monster on the field return to the hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can discard one danger monster, place this card on the bottom of your deck, then draw one card. So it lets you re it lets you bounce and recycle this card while also drawing a card. It's just it's it's a good card, um, especially if one of your dangers is going to get destroyed. You can activate it in response, I believe. No, no, because it's not quick to play. Uh, then we run two Danger Excitement Mystery, one Danger uh, danger uh, Feats of Strength, only one of them, uh, I think it's like a nice one of the throw in the deck, in case like you've got a Bigfoot on field alone, nothing else, you can hit for 6k, possibly game. And then we run three Allure of Darkness, uh, mainly because we're the, whole, all, the entire Danger archetype is Dark Monsters, it lets you draw. Um, 
it's overall just like a good addition in an all dark deck in my opinion uh we will get right into the traps obviously everybody's uh like amounts of cards are going to differ for the spell and trap zones um some people might opt not to run any traps at all but uh in pure danger i think it's kind of needed so we got two year in danger two danger zone and two second expedition into danger um, like I said, there is no extra deck. Um, you could probably run like a, a competent extra deck with this because the star values very much differ. Um, I'm pretty sure you could run like some eight X X seed eights. Uh, probably quite a bit actually, considering th six of your cards are eights. Some uh, fours and um, actually nine of your cards are eights some sevens, stuff like that. Um, I might change it in the future, but yeah, that's the deck profile for the dangers. Um, if you uh, have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Well, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button to know when my videos go live. Um, my socials will be in the description below. Uh, and don't forget to let me know if there's any suggestions for the deck, a deck profile you want to see. Um, I'm always open to buying cards and stuff like that. And overall, just like doing more things in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Like space. But yeah. Peace.